What is going on guys? So it has been a few days since I've made a video. Uh, people are wondering what's up with the server. So we sort of hit a snafu as you can see there's only five online right now and I believe two of us, I think three people because Shy Cloud's playing. Um, three people are actually playing, most people are King. Uh, and this is a good day, five online, so. I'm not entirely sure what happened. I think it was, the, um, there was a week where my grandparents were in town. And uh, I wasn't online much. Um, John, this is his server, but he's, you know, since we started the server, I think he's only been on about an hour or so because of his new job. In fact, I haven't talked to him in like two weeks. I'm not even, um, you know, what's going on with him or anything. But there wasn't really a whole lot of staff online, and I think that that's probably the main reason it died. I did do uh, a survey. If you remember Dark Asylum, you know, I did a lot of surveys. Um, I have one. It's going to be in the description below. Uh, fill it out. Uh, in the comment box, just there's a couple of comment boxes, but uh, in the first one, leave your name, uh, and whoever has uh, the, uh, I'm going to go based off of whoever has the best responses, um, and I don't mean like, you know, just say stuff like, oh, server's great, I mean like, just give me your honest opinion on feedback, if you have any suggestions on what we did right, what we did wrong, um, just fill it out, just, just answer all the questions, fill it out, leave your username, and I'm going to be giving away a luck of the pugs. So this ring is I believe five times better than a ring of wealth I might have increased it because I'm a cheater I can't remember if I did that or not the best ri like lucky ring you can get um, it'll be added with invention later down the road but um, only me and uh, John have one um, so I figured rather than give away bond or something stupid like that I give away something that's actually good so luck of the pugs all you have to do is leave your username and then just fill out everything honestly and uh, whoever has the the best response will win this uh, luck of the pugs. A ring blessed by ancient Chinese war dogs. I was very happy when I made this. This kind of like this whole like it came together in about like two minutes. I I, I don't know why, but whenever I'm sleeping, I, I come up with like like right before I go to bed, and I'm just like thinking about things. I always come up with the best ideas, and I'm sitting there. And I'm like luck of the pugs. How is that not a thing? Because if you're not familiar, RS3 recently came out with these lucky rings, and they had a um, I think it's called luck of the dwarves. And uh, I don't know why I didn't think of it earlier, but luck of the pugs. I mean, it had to happen. I knew I was going to do invention, and the, the, the rings are through invention, so it just makes a ton of sense. Um, but it's pretty cool. It also does have stats. I don't know if people know that. It has plus six in everything. So it's actually a very good ring. You get luck, and you get really nice stats on everything. So that's an awesome ring to have. Um, I'm sure whenever invention comes out, this thing will be a very hot commodity. Uh, I'm actually going to get started on Invention. I think one of the reasons, again, this is just based off of my opinions. I haven't really, you know, seen the survey results or anything like that, so I don't know for certain. But I think one of the things uh, people didn't like was the lack of content. We didn't really have a whole lot of unique stuff. I think we only have one boss with a croc boss, and I don't know if anybody even does it. In fact, it might be overpowered. I remember... Excuse me. I remember somebody telling me that it was overpowered. I just don't know if that's true or not. So, um, another thing that people have been uh, <coughs> complaining about is my microphone. It constantly makes sound. I, I've listened to my videos. I agree with you. I understand. I hear it. Um, I don't know what's causing it. I think it's just my microphone um, is broke. The problem is it, my microphone has these really long cords, and I think they keep getting twisted up, and that's my guess. I tried replugging it in and everything, and I still got that popping sound. Um, I'm going to go through and edit this video, the audio, so whenever it, it does make, because you tell when it makes that popping sound. Um, in fact, it might have just done it right there. I'm not sure. But I'll go through and edit that out. I don't know if that's going to make it better. Um, I don't, silence is going to be better than the popping sound. I'm guessing it would be, but I'll, I'll, mess, with, I'll mess around with that. But yeah, I think uh, limited content was something that sort of set us back. With this server, it was kind of like taking Dark Asylum and then removing all of the content. And then we released it. Um, in hindsight, we probably should have waited until we had more of our own content. Um, it was one of those things where we just kind of figured we could get the server going and then add the content. Um, and that would have been fine. The problem was I was so busy and my grandparents in town. My sister graduated recently, graduated from high school, so my, parent, my grandparents were down here for a week or so. Um, right after they were gone, I went to my... Um, I, I wouldn't say godson, but my godson's birthday party, and um, they they live a little bit away, so I stayed over that entire weekend and hung out with them and all. 
And it was just really bad timing. And I think that that's one of the things that really led to the demise of the server. They didn't see staff online. I, um, I'm always against having a big staff team. But I think that having no staff at all, which is what I wanted to do, I had no intentions of getting any staff. There was one person I had in mind, but he stopped. So, you know, I'll just shout it. Zora and Slayer were two people that I had in mind, but they kind of stopped playing. Um, so I, uh, I didn't want any staff, and that didn't work out, I don't think. I think if we had, like, mods and stuff online, that would have helped people, people's minds. But maybe I'm wrong completely, so you can uh, leave your, your uh, opinions on the survey. So you're probably wondering what, what in the hell I'm doing. Uh, this is the minigame that I always talked about. It did eventually get released, but it released um, after everybody already left. So I think there's only about five or six, maybe five to ten people. I'm not, re I'm not really sure how many people know about it, but not many. Um, so I'll sort of go over and explain right now. You can see I'm killing Barrel Chest. Uh, the one I was doing while I was talking is the highest tier chest. Um, so you can see kind of how it works. You get these gems randomly. Um, in order to get points, you get keys, but I didn't receive any keys in that instance. It's this thing, if you don't pay attention to it, you're going to die. This is an instance as well, so you really don't want to die in an instance. If you die in an instance, I think it's possible to get your items back, but you have to get back into that instance. And don't quote me on that. Um, silver key, oh, there we go, so there's a silver key drop. So this thing has a guaranteed uh, key drop. Its, it's loots aren't very impressive. I, I'm going to buff it. I kind of uh, wanted to get the update out like as soon as possible, just so people knew that I was still working on things. Um, it has the guaranteed key drop, and there's a chance of five, and everything else is kind of... I think this was originally what was... Um, the way I did it originally was for Iron Man to get this. Um, but I'll probably give it some better things. I'll probably keep this stuff in just for Iron Man. I did give it one drop. Raw Lobster said you could probably take a guess on why I gave it that drop. Um, but, yeah, it's just you um, when you're thieving the uh, the top stall, and we happen. So this is how you get some minigame, minigame teleports to Thieves Paradise. I'll sort of give you a little rundown on how it works. Um, so you have uh, this dude right here. Uh, I am going to mess around with the shop price. If you can see, I am 92 thieving. I started at 50. So from 50 to 92, I only got about 7,000 points, which isn't even enough for the test. So I am going to mess around with the prices. Uh, I just want to make sure it's balanced. I don't want like a level 3 Ironman to come here and grind out this mini game, open up a magic chest, and then get a blowpipe or something like that. Um, you could make the argument, oh, well then just don't make Iron Man, not only like, make Iron Man so they can't, they can't play this game. That's not really the point, it's not so much the Iron Man, I just mean, I want you to get the good content from doing it the good way. So, I don't want you to get magic chests. So, I'm gonna mess around with the rates, so I understand that the, this right here isn't really worthwhile, you know, that's, what, 31 levels? A ton of experience, and, um... Not even second chest. So this right here is the first one. Um, they all sort of have their own mechanics, but they're all very similar. So you click it, you get a gym. Yeah, that's kind of what the experience looks like. The experiences are based ex almost around the um, the stalls for the corresponding levels. And this is 20. This one right here, the second one is 40. This one over here is 60. And then the final one is 80. Um, and you get experience. It's essentially just... There are things uh, right there. A hand guard catches you and gives you a little smack. Gives you a little smack. Uh, yeah, I was kind of happy with myself when I wrote that code. Um, so one strategy you can do is just shift drop the gems. Uh, there is a bank north, so if you wanted to do that, uh, there is a random. Uh, ba this basically works off a of random chance. So when you're clicking it, you have um, a random chance to receive a key that, like I just got. This key gives the highest one gives. 100 so obviously the higher your level you want to do the better keys um, It can teleport you randomly to a different room and then it can teleport you to I think this one teleports you somewhere random in the wilderness um, So you, not not high in the wilderness. So you won't be like, really anything this one um, I believe we'll see where it teleports me to just oh well, there there you go that it teleports you like randomly to another room um, The way it works right now, and I'll just kind of admit this you can just click it from the other room you see, I can just still click it. I'm going to fix this, but for now, I've kind of just kept it in. I figured it, really where you're standing doesn't make a difference. Obviously, that makes it easier, but I don't really care too much. It's still going to be kind of difficult. So, uh, that one right there. This one, I think, has actually a pretty interesting teleport, which um, I'm going to trigger it. Obviously, there you have your 9 damage. 
get your food on you. So it's kind of recommended you just kind of use this gear. Especially if you're killing the barrel chest. I know of a few people who were doing this earlier. Um, like Zebrock and all them. I don't think that they killed it. I think that they just uh, teleport it back. And that's fine. You don't really... You only get the 100 point guaranteed. And then the drops aren't that good. So until I improve the drops, it's probably not worth killing it. But, you know, I still kind of do. As you can tell from the gear. 93, even. You can get pet. But pet is a little more rare. So if you did, like, thieving stall, you'd have a better chance. Um, I believe it's 1 in 5,000 for a pet. And then from theater, it's 1 in... Um, I want to say 6,000, I think is what I made it. So it's a little more rare. I do know of one person that got it, though. So it is, you know, it's possible, obviously. And then this one... Um, I, I couldn't trigger it, but it teleports you to like a dangerous spot. Basically, you just kind of have a bunch of random stuff happening to you. Um, and, uh, you know, you saw the point. You saw the shop up there. You can get a bag of gems, which I think I made it 50 of all. Or maybe I made it 100 of all. I can't remember. It's decent. And then the, But based off the prices, no one will probably buy it. So that's why I want to change prices around. But, you know, still. So this is the mini game that I was talking about. And you can get the chests... Uh, while well, thieving from this chest, um, hopefully that made sense. <laughs> yeah, I'm still sick a little bit, but today's probably the day that I felt the best, so it's definitely the time I want to do this video. Um, this thing, you can get the magic chest. This one can give you mahogany chests, uh, both six and five, I guess it would be. Um, this one would be, um, teak, and then this one's oak. I think it's around 1 in 2,500. And the rates are a little different based off of the chest. Like, obviously, you can get an oak chest easier from here. And then getting them out here is, I think, 1 in 2,500. Um, I actually did get one, and that'll be on my uh, next Revival episode, so you'll have to watch that out. But um, I think I'm going to end the video there. This kind of went on longer than I, I hoped it would. Hopefully, people watch it. I, I, I feel like a lot of people just click the video, dislike it, comment something negative. Or they, you know, or the other way, they click the video leave a positive comment like yay and then they don't actually like pay attention to the video but maybe if I throw in the giveaway in the title that'll force people to try to win this luck of pugs but uh, just uh, fill out the survey let me know what you're thinking